Hello, Anselm Griffin here again with another YouTube tutorial featuring MATLAB. Today is the 26th of March 2020 and this is video 245. Today we're looking at web scraping in MATLAB. This is not my work, it came from this site here. A technique employed to extract large amounts of data from websites. One other thing, some of you will need a function called URL filter and that's available from there. If I think you have the latest version, that's 2020 version, it'll work grand, but you need URL filter. That's just there. There's a couple of examples, etc. And the first example I've taken there. And one other thing to note the URL filter that you download, you can put it anywhere and set the path, but it's easiest if you set, or if you put, I should say, the function into the present working directory. My present working directory is Econ and MATLAB web scraping, and I put that in there. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, that's okay. So the examples, the first set of examples is from here. And I've published it a few minutes ago. So we're looking at this wiki page. Let's go out to here again. So we want to dig out numbers from here. So I'm going, there's my URL. Target is content pages. And it's going to read off that number there. And if I scroll down a little bit, it'll be there, there about. Now it's, I'm out by one. It was 202 here and it's 201 on the page. And that's because since I ran the two of them, you know, it's changing all the time. So, the, you know, it's slightly out of date. Go to page statistics again. And I want to dig out the three numbers. And I do that there. And there's the three numbers dug out. They'd be out a little bit because you know it's wiki is changing so fast. And then in the last example here, edit statistics, I want to dig out these two numbers here. So it looks wrong, but just bear in mind here, it's one by ten to the eight. Yeah, so I'm near enough there, 275, 737. So remember the pages are being edited constantly. 18.88, you may see with yourself, but it says zero Anselm, but remember that's uh, that's four decimal places by 10 to the eight. So it won't display. I'd need to get my format, my output to six, probably to eight decimal places to get the 18.88 there. So it looks wrong, but it's actually all right. A couple of other examples there. I sit on the same wiki page, special statistics, and I'm digging out various numbers. And I, I'm not going to go any longer because I, either you have it by now or you don't. Did another one here. Um, and that the inspiration for this came from that MATLAB site there. But... Um, the suggested URL doesn't work because they've changed the website design and this happens on a fairly constant basis. So web scraping is, you know, it's dynamic, just like the web pages are dynamic. So we need careful editing. So I changed it and I want to look at this one here. And I want to get uh, tomorrow's temperature, that's Friday the 27th, the high and the low, the high and the low for Saturday, the high and the low for Sunday, and the high and the low for Monday. And just to be careful here, it only gives the first three letters, F-R-I-S-A-T. And this caused, well, a bit of soul searching, a bit of work. How did I just look for F-R-I-S-A-T-S-U-N and M-O-N? And hopefully I'll be able to explain that reasonably clearly. 
So tomorrow is Friday, so how do I say that? Now plus one to Monday, now plus four. So that'll give me the days. And it you know, day zero is the first of January in the year zero zero, etc. And we roll on and roll on and roll on. So it just gives me the number of days. So I guess the hours, minute, sorry, the years, the months, and the days from the date vector of days, which is there. And then I convert them to day strings. Now, day string will be F R I D A Y. That'll be the first entry. S A T U R D A Y would be the second entry. But I don't want. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I want F R I S A T S U N and M O N, which caused a bit of thought. So I pre allocate there. Not much need to do it here because only really necessary when the numbers are massive and the numbers are quite small here. There's my URL as shown before. I'm going to loop around here and the search term now I have to go slowly over this one because it's a bit complicated so str trim string trim I'm going to look at this first so I want to remove any white spaces so I'm removing the white spaces and I'm converting the number to a string for the dayval ID and the dayval ID is got above up there Okay, so I'm getting, and then extract before, I would have got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and the extract before, four, that's B4 there. So take, extract before four, in other words, take the first three. So Friday is now FRI, Saturday is now SAT, etc. Just do a little disp there, and then no logic to this i mean no neurological science i just had to root what were the low and the high numbers and for whatever way that page is described that's there the low and the high the low is the third value that i dig out and the high is the sixth value that i dig out so so i just said dig out six values for in the string in the url for the string fri on the first bit of the loop sat on the second loop um sun on the third loop and mon on the fourth loop okay so i've dug out the highs and the lows then that would give me friday the 27th or give me the 27th of the third 2020 and it give me zero 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 for hours minutes and seconds and that would made the x-axis awful so i had to do a bit of routing there so i'm converting that to days and then what i did was dt1 to get it looking right using the date time function i said i only wanted it in years months and days so in other words i managed to drop the hours to minutes and the seconds To get my graph to display right, I got the minimum temperature and took away two. I got the maximum temperature and added on two, so my y-axis would look okay. I set the size of my dots to be 25. I did a scatter plot in red filled, you'll see down here. So red, they're 25 pixels. They're red and they're filled. And if I go up there, um, there's the lows and they're blue and they're filled. Below here is sort of what was going on up above. And my weekday string is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So that's what I was trying to do. So I scraped, later on, I scraped those six values.
and there's the values that I scraped for the four days. There's the date time array. You see, you got it 27th of March 2020 hours, minutes, seconds for the four days. And then DT1, when I formatted, I wanted to drop uh, the hours, minutes, seconds, so that's where they are there. And you've seen the graph already. And I threw in a legend and as well. Okay, quite difficult concepts, but I hope that helped a little. And thanks very much for listening.